Hey loves, welcome back. Today I'm doing a full face testing all the new drugstore makeup and I actually have a full face of all new things. Foundation, concealer, setting spray, bronzer, blush, all the things. So grab a snack, get cozy, or grab all your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together and let's get into it and do some glam. Starting off strong, we have a brand new eyeshadow palette here from LA Girl. How beautiful is this? And this actually has some weight to it. It's a 12 color eyeshadow palette. It looks so pretty. We have some shimmers, some mattes, some glitters in here. I love the LA Girl and their eyeshadows are one of my all time favorites. So I want to definitely do a little something with this color right here but we're gonna start with this light pinky mauvey shade first i already have my lids primed and everything by the way but i cannot believe all of the new drugstore makeup that is out i placed a huge order on ulta but there's a ton of stuff just i feel like at the drugstore in general so i'm gonna start with this color i'm just gonna work that into the crease this palette has some weight to it which is really nice that's cute it's kind of building up nicely it's like a pinky mauve tone shade i'm gonna take a little bit of this color it almost looks like a blush i wonder if you can use these on your cheeks at all i know it's only two shades but so far so good they're blending nicely and they're buildable which is nice Let's see how this chocolate matte brown is. Okay, so these definitely have some pigment to them, but they're not as pigmented, I feel like, as other LA Girl eyeshadows. They are a little bit more subtle and buildable, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a little bit different than their traditional formula. I'm almost like kind of wanting to just put the brown all over the lid and then add that really pretty iridescent right in the center. Let's do that, because at this point I'm kind of blending the shade all over anyways. So let's just go with that. I will say though, the colors are building up pretty nicely. Yeah, like that looks cute. And take a little bit more of those pinky colors and just add that around the crease area. I'm actually not mad about this. This looks pretty cute. And there isn't a ton of fallout, which is always really nice. Even dipping my brush in here, you guys know I'm heavy handed if you watch my videos, but there isn't a ton of kickback. There's pigment but when you actually put the eyeshadow on. Okay, that was actually more pigmented than the other one. Maybe the, it depends on how much you put on your brush. I actually like the formula so far. Got the other eye done. Now we're gonna add a little glitter. So far, I do like the mattes. I feel like they are pigmented, but still buildable. The formula feels a little bit different than their traditional eyeshadow palettes that I've tried before. The mattes feel nice. They feel a little bit more dry, but you still get some pigment and you can build them up, which is nice. But let's try out these glitters now. I'm gonna take this like blue... Kind of looks like a blue brown purpley shade it's sort of like a color shifting color but i'm going to use that shade with my finger let's see how it applies i'm going to put that right on the center oh that's pretty it's also probably going to look a little bit different because we have that brown base underneath i'm just going to pretty much apply that on the center let me swatch that on the back of my hand so we can see how it looks just against bare skin see it's a very fine glitter very sparkly, but then of course when you have it over a darker eyeshadow, it's gonna pop a little bit more. Oh, that's different. It almost looks blue now as I put it on, but in the pan, it looks a little bit more purple. I'm just gonna dab this all over the lid because I really like how that glitter looks. It's very fine. It is a color shifting kind of shade, but that's cool. I just swatched this light, it looks like a light white shade, but it's actually a golden champagne kind of glitter it's also color shifting as well that's really interesting i just put a little bit of that in the inner corners wow that glitter is actually really pretty it's really different you guys like looking at myself right now in the mirror it just looks like a bunch of different glitter colors at once that just are shifting okay i think i'm gonna leave it as is because i really like that i'm gonna apply some lashes and mascara i have been loving the new lash extender from elf i think this is really good it gives more length and separation but it's a nice formula so i'm gonna just do a coat of mascara i am gonna apply lashes i think i'm just gonna do a wispy lash it's just giving kind of winter galaxy on my eyes it's crazy how the colors really do shift and when you combine them together it just kind of creates its own shade 
so that's different but let me put on some lashes i'm just gonna do kiss so wispies in the style pixie and then we're gonna do the skin this la girl palette is really interesting and by the way the color in here the big one and the shade, these are both for the cheek. So this is a highlighter and then this is a blush. I wish there was more glitters in here because these are fabulous. I love the way they layer and they're very sparkly. So I definitely feel like the glitters saved the palette. The mattes are nice too, but the glitters are insane. It's kind of just reminding me of something from Urban Decay. They're really, really sparkly and pretty. Okay, now for primer. I have this new one here from LA Girl. It is the Blurring Primer. It's supposed to mattify and extend your makeup, smooth you out. I put some where I have larger pores. Let's see. It's a little bit thicker, but it still has a creamy consistency. I don't know if that really necessarily did a ton for my pores, but it does feel really nice. It makes the skin feel soft and silky. Hmm, interesting. It's thick, but still creamy and hydrating feels a little bit smoothing as well. It says it's mattifying. I don't really notice a ton of matte skin right now. Maybe it takes some time to fully absorb, but interesting. I'll definitely keep testing out these products. This is literally just a little first impressions today. And then for foundation, I have the new Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation from Makeup Revolution. I have no idea if this is gonna match. I kind of went off of what they had online, so I got the color F8. I feel like Makeup Revolution's shades are always a little like, eh, but I remember loving their Conceal and Perfect, or what was it called? Conceal and Define foundation with the big doe foot. That was one of my all-time favorites. So I'm really excited about this. Let's see how the packaging is. Is there a pump? Okay, perfect. Love. It's actually really pretty, the packaging. So let's let's just go in and test it out. I don't see a ton of mattifying on my skin, by the way. It still feels really soft and silky, though, to the touch. And I actually like the putty consistency of that LA Girl primer so far. Please match. It's kind of pulling a little bit orangey. But... We have no choice but to make it work because I only got one shade. I don't even know what the claims are on this foundation. I will put them here on the screen. But let's see how it blends. Maybe the shade is not terrible. I feel like the undertones are always just a little bit wacky. Maybe I can make that work. Definitely feels very thin, so like a serum for sure. It's very natural. I feel like it evened out my skin tone, but it still looks like skin. Like it doesn't look like I put on a layer of foundation. It just feels super lightweight and it goes on very lightweight as well. The color is not as bad as I thought. It's not perfect, but I think I can totally work with it. The undertone is a little bit off, but it's really pretty. It's very hydrating. Okay, so that is what it's looking like. Gorgeous texture. Not a ton of coverage. It's definitely like a skin tint kind of vibe, but it's very thin. It's hydrating. It feels lightweight. Gives a little bit of a glow. I don't really feel like the LA Girl Primer, like I said, was super mattifying, which I don't really mind, but it did give a nice smooth base. And this applied really nicely over top of that. This looks good just for every day. I actually think the color is not bad now that it fully has blended and absorbed into my skin. I think it actually is a good color match. That looks really good. It evened out my skin tone without looking like I put on foundation. It just looks very seamless, like your skin but better kind of vibes. So then I have this new concealer here from NYX. It is the Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. I've seen people use this mostly on their blemishes, but you can use it on your under eyes because I've seen some people do that as well. I picked up the color Natural. So I'm gonna put this on my under eyes and just see how it blends. I've seen people blend this out with their finger. It comes in a couple different shades, by the way, to like brighten, correct. Oh, wow. It actually blended in pretty nicely. That definitely brightened, but it's very natural. I like never blend out concealer with my fingers, but this is actually blending in really nicely. It's not super thick, but it's creamy. This would be perfect for blemishes if you're on the go and you just wanna like cover something up really quickly. I don't mind it on my under eyes just because of the brightness that it gave. I actually love this color on my skin tone as well, but I could see this being a really good product for blemishes for spot concealing. I love how easily it just blends with your finger. 
Mm, super creamy. Okay, this is very interesting product. I think it's gonna be really good if you're on the go. You just want quick, natural, no makeup makeup because of how seamless the formula is. And it's actually, even though it's in like a stick form, it still has a good blend to it and it doesn't feel super thick, which I like. We have a couple, actually, I'm so excited about these because we have a new bronzer and a new blush here. So Flower Beauty Ultra Light Liquid Blushes. Should we try the blush first or do we wanna do bronzer first? Sometimes I feel like when I do both, it can look a little bit muddy at times. So I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case today. Let's go with bronzer. Let's bronze up the skin. This is new from Milani. It's the Cheek Kiss blush and this one's in the color hey honey which is the lightest shade i'm so excited about this i love the milani liquid contour i literally cannot stop using that so if this is anything like that then we have a winner because it is such a nice formula this is a little bit more warm but milani's cream products are incredible so let's let's see Ooh, i already like the color but that took like no effort to blend. Okay, Milani. It is warm, so it's not gonna be like a contour shade where it's a little bit more cool tone or ashy. This is definitely on the warm side, but I love the way that just gave a sun-kissed look with little to no effort. Very blendable. Oh my gosh, that just blended so easily. I love it. Okay, that's really nice. I really like it so far. I'm gonna see how it looks with powder over top. But this looks so good. It feels creamy, but not too melty. You know what I'm saying? Like when you actually apply it, it blends without being overly dewy or greasy. It doesn't look muddy and that's a really nice color. Even though this is the lightest shade, it definitely works for my skin. And I can see this being a good color even when I'm tan as well, because it does seem to be buildable. Milani has some good cream blushes as well. The Cheek Kiss line is really good, but this bronzer, I'm loving it. That looks amazing. Now we're gonna do blush. I got the ultra light liquid blushes from Flower Beauty. I picked up the color Peachy and Cheeky, and we're gonna try both. I actually like the Flower Beauty highlighter, but I'm not a big fan of the bronzer. It dries a little bit too fast and it can be hard to blend. So I'm hoping that this is not the case with this. I'm gonna do, let's do that much. Ugh, I hope this blends easily. Oh, it does. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Liquid blush can always be a little scary at times, but what I'm gonna do is actually just put some on the back of my hand first and then blend it from there. This is what the color looks like, by the way. It's a nice kind of orangey shade, orangey peachy color. I thought it was gonna be a baby pink, not gonna lie. Even though the name is peachy, I thought it was gonna be like a, like a lighter shade, but it's actually darker than expected. Okay, from here, I'm gonna take my brush and then blend that in. Okay, yeah, this is a lot more natural than I thought it would be, but it's pretty and it blends really nicely. The bronzer ones that Flower Beauty has, they dry so fast, but this actually blends, I think, a little bit better than that product. Now let's try the color Cheeky on the other side. Ooh, I like this color. I like this one more. So this one, again, is in Cheeky. It's kind of just like a rose muted rosy raspberry color, but when you blend it in, it just gives the most stunning sheer wash of color. I really like that a lot, actually. I just spot cleaned that brush that I was using on the other side and I'm using it on here because I like it more to blend. Ugh, I think that first brush that I used was just not it because it looks a little bit splotchy for whatever reason on my cheek, but I'm loving this color. I like it more than the peachy color. I added more of that cheeky shade on the other side of my cheek because I really like it a lot. Okay, Flower Beauty, that looks really good. I like this side more and usually this side's my good side, but this side today is cooperating. So powder is necessary. I'm just using a concealer brush to kind of blend out those creases. I don't really know if I should add any more concealer. It did cover up. Maybe I'll do a little bit more on my brush directly. Kind of just blend that right where like the hollow of my under eyes are. It's a little dark there. I'm gonna set my under eyes and the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. This one is in the color Translucent. I'm gonna just put this on my under eyes and then set the rest of my face with my, of course, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder because I cannot stop and won't stop using it. Like actually 
And I use the color light medium for my entire face. I think that concealer for me, the under eyes, I don't know if I really love it after I set it with powder. So I think for me, that might be a concealer that I use on blemishes or any scars that I have on my face. And then I'll go over that with like a skin tint or a, a lightweight foundation. But then for the under eyes, I would probably use maybe the color corrector and then just a regular concealer. I think the blush and bronzer is looking really good after the powder. I'm gonna go with so far, double thumb is up. The bronzer is incredible. Like this takes a little to no effort to blend. I love this. I cannot wait to keep using this. The blush is cute. It's actually a lot more blendable than I expected. And I love the color again, cheeky. So these two, I'm into them. The concealer, I kind of want to play around with this a little bit more. I don't know if I really like it on my under eyes now that I set it. Might be a little bit too much. Maybe I use too much. I don't know. But I think moving forward, I'll use this on blemishes or whenever I want to spot conceal before my foundation because I do like the formula of it. I just don't know if I really love it on my under eyes. I think I will just probably stick to using like my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum for the under eyes and then maybe this for like spot concealing or for like natural makeup days. I don't know, I'll have to keep playing with it, but I, I don't know. I'm like 50-50 with that so far. I did also pick up this new Physicians Formula Butter Glow Bronzer and Blush. So I'm gonna just top this off for a little extra glowiness on my cheeks. And this one is in the color Healthy Glow. Mmm, I love the way Physicians Formula Love stuff smells. It smells like a vacation. And look how pretty that is. Definitely my kind of vibe. That's pretty. It's very subtle. It kind of gives hourglass vibes in a way. You know how hourglass powders are just so smooth and they give you that kind of inner glow from within? That is the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this product. It's very, very natural. I'm just gonna dust this kind of all around my face a little bit. This is pretty. I really like the cheek products. I think the complexion turned out a lot better than I thought. Even that skin tint from Makeup Revolution looks really good. I got this new eyeliner duo from Flower Beauty and it's reminding me so much of Charlotte Tilbury because they have a little duo like this that I tried before, which I honestly wasn't that impressed with, but this one is the black and bronze one. It comes in a couple other shades, but the one from Charlotte Tilbury was pretty lackluster whenever I tried it. The eyeliner just wasn't as creamy, so I'm curious how this one compares. So you get a black liner on one side and then a little bronzy one on the other. Let's try the bronzy one and see how it looks because I feel like it's very fitting with this eye makeup. It's very subtle, but it does show up. You have to kind of build it up a little bit, but it's not as like pigmented as I thought. You kind of have to build it up. I feel like maybe you have to just get past that first layer. It is a pretty light kind of taupey bronzy brown. And then let's swatch the black. The black is nice. It is a wooden pencil, so I feel like these, you have to kind of use them a little bit before getting a full amount of pigment, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes I've even seen people with these kind of liners like take a lighter and melt it down to make it a little bit more creamy, but it's cute. I don't know how the black is going to be. I'm gonna use it to tight line. I don't think it's the creamiest eye cool that I've tried, but I do like the concept of it. I'll have to keep kind of experimenting with it, but I'm gonna add a little mascara from e.l.f. again on the lower lashes. I like this mascara a lot for the lower lashes, actually. Gives good length. I love this mascara, actually. It's so good. Oh, look at my lower lashes. I don't have amazing top lashes. I feel like my lower lashes are so much better, but this really just does it for me. And so far I have not experienced any flaking or smudging or smearing with this formula either. It's really nice and it's like seven bucks. I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I kind of want something matte. So I'm gonna take this light peachy shade in the LA Girl palette. I think it should be good. I'm gonna put that right in here. It's different. You see it has like a peachy kind of undertone. Okay. This would be nice all over the lid too. Oh, that's different. It almost didn't really brighten. It just added like a light matte peach shade. It almost looks like a little pop of color. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Not the vibe I was going for, but I'm not mad about it either. I'm gonna run a little bit of that on my brow bone. So Makeup Revolution has a new lipstick. I have two different colors. I got Divine Brown and Lover Nude. The packaging on these is really pretty. These look like a matte lipstick. So this one is Lover Nude. Should we just go in on the bare lips, see how it looks? 
And then the other color that I have, by the way, is in Divine Brown. I might use this one today. I don't know. And then I also have the Gloss Crush Lip Serum from Flower Beauty to try. Should we just apply these first? Mmm, that smells good. Let me just put this on my bare lips since I don't have anything else on just to see how it looks. And then we'll decide the lip combo after we try them all on. Okay. Ooh. That feels amazing. It went on super smooth. It feels very thin. It definitely feels like a serum jelly type of gloss. You know what this reminds me of? And they smell like it too. Tower 28 glosses a little bit. This is so cute. I would definitely, again, the color is in Bronze Crush. I would definitely get more colors in this. I love the sheer wash of color and it's not sticky. It's actually super lightweight. Mm, that feels good. It kind of reminds me of the Tower 28 glosses, but they're not as shiny as those, but I still really like the way that looks and feels. All right, now let's try out these nude shades. I'm gonna try out the color Lover Nude. Okay, yeah, this needs to be <laughs> paired with a lip liner for sure. I know it looks crazy, but this is actually a very pretty center shade. It reminds me of the e.l.f. Ofe Satin Lipstick in the shade Hustle. It's that very light kind of orangey based nude. I would not wear this on its own, but with a brown lip liner, these kind of colors look stunning. It's a really pretty shade, actually. It feels really comfortable and it has a good amount of pigmentation, too. All right, let's try the next color in Divine Brown and see. I like both of these though with a lip liner. For sure you need a lip liner. I'm gonna add a little lip liner and I'm gonna use actually the e.l.f. Cream Glide lip liner. I'm debating, I don't know if Baddest Beige is gonna be a little bit too light. So these are super creamy. It's a lipstick in a lip liner form. I think I'm gonna use a darker color just to you know, add a bit more dimension to the lips. Hold on. I really like the e.l.f. lip liners. They're $2 and they're super creamy and pigmented, but they're not extremely long wearing. So you will have to reapply, which I mean, it's $2, so it's not a huge deal, but that's the only thing. I'm gonna take the color, by the way. This one is one of the darker shades, Dark Cocoa. I love Baddest Beige. But I feel like the lipstick is a little bit too dark for Baddest Beige. We need something darker just to make everything look a little bit more defined. Any lip product is going to look so much better with a lip liner. I'm telling you. Lipsticks feel nice from Makeup Revolution. The colors are interesting. I'm curious if the other ones are very like warm orangey based like this one. But like I said, it looks good with a brown lip liner and the formula feels nice. I'm going to add some of the serum gloss over top. This look is really interesting. It's a little bit different. The lip color, I don't know if it really matches with the eyes, but whatever. It's okay. Hmm, this feels nice. Now we're gonna do some setting spray. I got the new Marshmallow Setting Spray from NYX. I tried the Marshmallow Primer. I don't remember what my thoughts were. I feel like it wasn't really a must-have for me because I didn't continue to use it. But this is apparently a matte setting spray. I actually do really like NYX setting sprays. Hello. There we go. They're really good. They kind of give Urban Decay vibes a little bit. I used a NYX setting spray actually the other day and I forgot. They're actually really nice. I sometimes forget about their sprays, but let's try this one out. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like marshmallow vanilla. Mmm. Makeup has fully marinated and I actually really like the way this turned out. I wasn't sure about it at first, but Everything came together beautifully, actually. Starting with the setting spray, this smells delicious. I can still smell it on me after the makeup is fully dried. And I actually do really like the way my makeup just fully set without feeling too matte or too dry. I honestly don't really feel like this LA Girl Blurring Putty Primer did much. It did feel very silky soft on the skin, but I don't really feel like it blurred or mattified much. I'm gonna keep using it, but I'm kind of in the middle with it right now. Like, I don't really feel like it was a must-have. Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. I think this has potential, but the shade 
shades are kind of just all over the place to be honest i could make the color f8 work but even then the undertone was kind of off completely but this does have a nice formula so that's why i wish the shades were better because it is hydrating but it's not too dewy or greasy feeling and it did a nice job at evening out my skin tone it definitely gives skin tint your skin but better kind of vibes but the shades need some work i do like the nyx concealer i probably wouldn't use this on my under eyes moving forward again i think i'm gonna just stick with this on my blemishes or any like spots where i want to spot conceal but i do like the formula of it it's actually very creamy and blendable the cheek products were my absolute favorite this cheek kiss bronzer from milani is so beautiful the blend to it was fabulous and it took little to no effort i love this color in hey honey 10 out of 10 i also love the liquid blush from flower beauty this was so beautiful the color cheeky I'm into it. I cannot wait to keep using these. These are my top two. I told you guys the lip liners from e.l.f. They're not super long wearing, but if you have to reapply it, I don't feel like it's the end of the world because they're only $2 and the formula is super creamy. So I feel like that makes up for it, but they're really good. I love the shade Baddest Beige, but I also really like the brown color with the lipsticks that I used today. And that leads me to my next point. The lipsticks from Makeup Revolution are actually really nice. They're kind of a hybrid like satin type of formula, but they have a good amount of pigmentation. They feel comfortable. The shades for me are definitely depending on what kind of look you like because they are more orangey, warm based, but with the brown lip liner, I think they look really good. I also really like the Flower Beauty Lip Serum Gloss. I want to get more of these. The formula feels super lightweight. Definitely remind me a little bit of the Tower 28 glosses, which I also love. So, so far so good with this. I definitely want more colors. I love the Butter Glow Bronzer and Blush from Physicians Formula. This was so pretty. It kind of just gives me hourglass vibes. It's very natural. The highlighter is subtle, but it just kind of brings your skin back to life. And if you want a little bit of a glowy cheek, I think this is a really nice product. I really like it. But Physicians Formula, we need more shades. That's the only thing because it's such a good product and the formula is truly like butter the smell everything about it is good we just need more colors because it's so pretty also the eyeshadow palette is gorgeous i wish there was more glitters in here though because i do like the glitters i think more than the mattes but i will keep experimenting with this i think it's a really cute palette it's different also and the glitters are just so sparkly that's why i'm saying i wish that there was more because this formula it's just giving Urban Decay single eyeshadow vibes, and I really like it. And then the other thing that I honestly wasn't a big fan of is this Flower Beauty Eyeliner. It's just not as creamy as I would like. It is a wooden pencil, so it's just kind of harsh on the eyes. It's not my favorite. But we have some gems in today's video. I really like a lot of the products that I did use, and I have... I already see some new favorites here that I cannot wait to keep using. So I will keep you updated in my next hits and misses. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. What are your thoughts? Is there anything catching your eye that you are thinking about possibly getting? Let me know. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave for new videos every week. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.